Hello everyone. So I'm going to bring you that bracelet from Dee Dee's Deluxe Bead Box. I had already started this but realized I needed to make give myself a little bit more room because there wasn't it wasn't quite long enough. So I put my toggle clasp on, I put my crimp to I, you know, did my crimp bead and all. I'll show you that on this end because I messed up the first time around. So what I'm going to do is put one of these little, these are four millimeter um, spacer beads. So you could use these and the, the ones that came with the box, but you will need to use all six of your, all six of these beads if you use them. And I want to save those, these guys, for uh, the little diamond ones for something else. So, now how did this get all kinked up? I'm telling you. I'm a telling you. <laughs> I, I don't know how things happen, but they do. All right. I don't even know if this is going to work, this wire. We'll find out at the end, right? So, I'm putting on one of those gold spacers. One of... I mean, one of the red beads that came in the box. Another gold spacer. One of the rondelles that came in the box. So like I said, you can use these guys. You'll just have to use, make another section of this when you get to it. Um, so I'm doing it a little bit different because I want to save those beads, like I said. So another gold spacer bead, another red. I thought these were rondelles, these little red ones. But they look round, so maybe not. I must have... I must be thinking of something else. Alright. I'm probably going to have to change this wire out because of that kink there. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but... Just my luck, I guess. So I like these little gold spacer beads too because it kind of brightens it up a little bit more. Like I like, I really like these, but that's why I want to save them for something else. These little diamonds that came in the box. I really like them. Um, I want to use them for something else though. So. I decided to go with my the spacer beads that I had. I like it. You could uh, use it. You can use it for Christmas, or you can use it for Valentine's Day, or you can wear it any time you want that you wear red. These are pretty red, these little, little beads. Come on now. Hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas Eve. Although I think by the time you see this, it'll be Christmas. Because I don't think I'm going to upload it. Um, I might upload it, but I'm probably not going to publish it till Christmas Day. So. So, I like it. I think I like it better with those little diamond beads.
We'll see. Let me show you the difference with how it looks with the diamonds compared to the red ones, the round ones. Can actually even just do that for the middle part because this would be the middle section, so. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. See the difference in size? I think I will do that. I'll just put the two diamonds on this middle section. That way I still have a lot. Whoops, back up. Oh, I did put that on. Just rambling. There you go. And back to the I do like it better with the diamonds. I have to say that. I think because it's a not such a yellowy gold looking. Like it's more of um like a real gold look kind of. Sorry, my hands gross. Um And I have to use that extra bead too. I don't know. I'll leave it as is. How's that? Uh, red one. And one of you guys. And another red one. And a gold. And a rondelle. I think this kink is going to be a problem. See that kink there? I think it's going to be a problem. So if you get a kink in yours, we'll find out if it does, if it is. But if you get a kink in yours, uh, you might want to discard that bit of uh, tiger tail. Where's my red bead? And so now that I'm at almost at the end, <laughs> I'll send my beads flying. How's that? I was going to let the cat in, but he's sleeping, so we'll keep it that way. We'll let sleeping kitty cats lie. Because I, I can't let him in while I'm doing something like this anyway, because he, he doesn't like repetitive motions in front of his face and he likes to lay down right here so that doesn't work out too well all right so now you should be long enough is going to be a little problem. See that? And I don't know if um, when you wear it, it's going to show, but oh yeah, that's much better than what it was. Okay. So now I'm going to add my little crimp bead if I can find it again. Here you are. And the other end of my 
my toggle. I needed, at first I did it without these two beads, without these two beads on the ends, and I realized that I need that little bit of extra space. So then we are going to, where am I here? Come back around and go into our toggle bead. Ah, oh, toggle bead. <laughs> a crimp bead. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pull that. I don't want a big gap between my crimp bead and my other bead. There we go. So now I'm going to take my crimper tool here. So this tool has two slots. This one rounds it off after you crimp it. This one crimps it. See that little extra tooth in the middle there? So you use that part first. So what you do is you try to make sure that your um, wires are next to each other, not over each other. And you put your little crimp bead in that first slot there. Take your toggle out. There we go, like that. Let's see where it is. And what's going to happen is this side is going to squeeze it and make a little indent. See the indent there? I don't know if you can see that. See that? So now what you do is you take your tool with the other end and that will round it and close it like that. Okay, I'm going to cut my tiger tail. I'm going to leave a little bit because I want to tuck it into my beads. If I can, and if not, I'm going to cut it off. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Looks like I'm going to be cutting it off, maybe. Usually I put the tail in through the bead before I squeeze the crimp tube, but uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Any other people out there consider making I'm gonna cut that off. I've actually thought about making uh about tie fly tying tying flies. <laughs> it's a type of fishing lure. I actually thought about that. Thought about making um, rosary beads. My energy level isn't the best, so a lot of times I make nothing. Ouch. Let's not cut our fingers. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? Sorry, I have to pull my... I have to lay the bracelet up against my body so I can get it to work. My fingers are not so nimble anymore.
<laughs> this is why I like buttons. <laughs> Buttons or magnetic. Alright, so. You see that little loop? You have to be able, you have to have enough room to bend this part of your toggle. Get that loop through. So you can get the whole thing through. I could have used a little bit more space. But that's alright. I'll deal with that. So. Let's move the rest of them out of the way. I'm all decked out for the holidays, sitting home by myself. I like it. I think I'd like it better with all of these, but I'm not using them for this one. I'm going to use them for something else. <laughs> I know, what did I say that, like three times? Uh, sorry. Sorry for repeating myself. I'm actually wondering if I'm losing my marbles. Anyway. Now I have all these left, and I can do something else. Maybe make a pendant, just like a hanging pendant with like that. And we could use it for that. Or we could even add the rondelles if we wanted to. Just make like a drop pendant like that and make earrings to match. Without that. Or you can hang something from that if you wanted to. I think, I think that would be cute just by itself. A little dangly pendant. Actually, I think it would be make nice earrings. Um, maybe with the pendant you could add the rondelles. Make it a little bit bigger than the earrings, right? Why not? That's the great part about making your own jewelry. You can make it however you want. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you all for watching. I hope everybody has a very safe and happy Merry Christmas. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.